You just can't help it, that's okay. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy, Benny. The axe to grind is a normal pejorative that is said to somebody who has a grudge against someone else. They got an axe to grind, but Tucker Carlson might have the biggest axe there is. And he's literally walking around with an axe on his property in Maine, building a brand new studio after Fox News committed a murder-suicide by uh, for some inexplicable reason, getting rid of their most popular, the most popular anchor uh, in the history of cable news. I think that's, I think that's pretty clear. Tuck Carlson's carrying an ax around his main property where he has dual studios. Sometimes he does his show out of Florida. Sometimes he does his show out of Maine. He has dual studios in both locations. And Tucker Carlson was photographed with a gigantic ax. What is Tucker going to do with this giant axe? Look at this thing. Look at that axe. I don't know. But this is Tucker Carlson's studio in Maine. This is the little yeah, barn where Tucker does his satellite studio. Tucker Carlson left Washington, D.C. and his studio in Washington, D.C. when he had his family attacked by Antifa. They stormed into his house. They tried to hurt his family. And so Tucker Carlson said, effectively, I won't be doing my show any longer out of D.C. Workers from Fox News swooped in and dismantled Tucker Carlson's main recording studio just as he was preparing to take his show to Twitter, Daily Mail has learned exclusively. That's a pretty nasty thing to do. The studio in a converted barn will now have to be completely rebuilt after the left left in shambles by the network's crew. Fox came in last week and took all their S out of here says Patrick Feeney, who managed the work, I uh, told Daily Mail. They took the set and everything, all the equipment, the chairs, the desk, the, the fake walls, everything. Now the conservative firebrand is helping work alongside a three-man construction crew in the studio in Wood, in downtown Woodstock. Exclusive photos show. This must be the town in Maine. I've never been to Woodstock, Maine. Sounds nice, though. Carlson, 54, spends his summers in the rural town, 55 miles west of the state capital of Augusta, Maine, where Fox had built a set in an old barn so he could broadcast the show remotely. He is due to start filming the satellite studio within a few weeks uh, uh, when he was suddenly fired by the networks on April 24th. Tucker was given his own crew for a new job to get the studio back up and running. But the removal of the original set meant they had to repair the infrastructure. There is no hardware in place at all. Uh, there's not even infrastructure for a TV studio for a long time. Feeney told the Daily Mail that the boss, his boss, who spends much of his a year in Florida, had only recently returned to Woodstock, where he owns a house and a, on a lake on the outskirts of town. He just got back night after the meeting with lawyers and all that stuff. As you can imagine, he's very busy right now. Uh, uh, Tucker Carlson was booted off his uh, Tucker Carlson Tonight show in April. The company gave no official reason why they let their most watched anchor go, but a decision came just six weeks after Fox settled, six days correction after Fox settled with Dominion Voting Systems, paying the company $700 million in the defamation lawsuit. So according to Tucker Carlson's biographer, it was part of that lawsuit that was why Tucker had to be let go. Dominion demanded it in order to settle. Now, that would be a huge, huge scandal that will get Fox News' asses sued big time by Tucker, according to this article. Tucker Carlson accuses Fox of fraud contract breach. Uh, uh, Carlson is gearing up for a massive, massive lawsuit. The letter alleges from Carlson's lawyers that Fox broke promises not to settle with Dominion Voting System in a way that would indicate wrongdoing on the part of Carlson and did not take any actions in the settlement that would harm Carlson. So what this effectively means is that if you don't like a cable news host or if that cable news host is too effective, well, you just find an avenue to sue that company for millions and millions, billions of dollars, and then you demand those hosts get fired. That's the easiest way to take someone off air. Does this seem to be bothering Tucker Carlson? Well, no. Directly after the firing of Tucker Carlson, he's seen driving around joyfully uh, in his... Uh, the Florida community in which he lives, he's driving around on a golf cart, laughing, giggling, asked his future plans. He said appetizers and then an entree. He sounded like this. <laughs> Here the quintessential Tucker Carlson laugh there. So it does look like Tucker Carlson is gearing up. Absolute, total, savage, undeterred. 
Tucker wearing some moccasins here with his daughter, gearing up, building his new studio inside of this barn. How appropriate. Tucker Carlson broadcasting from rural Maine inside of a barn with an axe. With an axe to grind. This is, this is Tucker's wife uh, bopping in there with some packages. This is the inside of the barn, what it looks like there. Here's Tucker throwing away some boxes. I don't know who's taking these photos. <laughs> He's throwing away these boxes, Amazon boxes, checking stuff in the trash. A man of the people. Building, getting his hands dirty. Tucker Carlson getting it done. And this is a photo of the uh, pole barn here next to what looks like a World War One or World War II memorial. Little small town memorials like that all across America. Tucker and a photo of Tucker and his wife. And this, the my favorite photo from the entire set. Tucker Carlson staring deeply in the heart of the sharp blade of the axe. What does Tucker have planned? <laughs> we know it's going to be amazing. We know it's going to be incredible. And we are here for it. We've been in contact with Tucker. Tucker's doing great. He's good spirits. And we'll bring you more information as we see or hear it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the media now. This will simply further the destruction of the media that we hate. God bless Tucker. God bless America. Like, share, and subscribe. See ya.